going to take a look now at sending data to the server from various HTML controls, starting with text fields, and going to read that data on the server using PHP scripts. For example, this is PHP text.html. This is the HTML page that will send data to a PHP script, which is going to be called PHP text.php. And we're going to see how to recover the data from a text control on the server using PHP. So this page asks, what is your name? You might enter your name and then click the Submit button. And as you see, the data has been retrieved by phptext.php and it accurately retrieved my name and says your name is Steve. Let's take a look at how this works in code now. This is going to be an HTML form. The method is going to be post, just for a little bit of variety. The action is the URL to which you send your data. That's going to be PHP text.php. That is the script, the PHP script that is going to read the data once it's sent to that script and read it and be able to interpret that data. And there'll be an input control, which is type text. This is a text field. And the name of this text field is just going to be name because it's asking for the user's name. So the parameter that the data will be sent to the server under is name. That we'll be able to recover the data the user entered for, as their name using the parameter name as you're going to see in a minute and that is the so that's the text field it's its name is just simply name and then there is a submit button like this and when the user clicks the submit button the data is going to be sent using the post method to this URL php text.php and that's the way the php text.html page looks and we'll take a look now at how to extract the data that's sent to the PHP script on the server and it starts off by saying your name is, then there's a PHP section. I'm going to echo the data under the name parameter. Now this is dollar underscore request. This is the request array. Now you can, as you already know, use dollar underscore get or dollar underscore post and you can also use dollar underscore request. Dollar underscore request will handle both post and get data. And so if you don't know which variety you're using, which HTTP method you're using, post or get, you can also use the request array, dollar underscore request in PHP. And this, this example is just going to demonstrate that you can recover data using the request array as well as the post array or the get array. But if you're using the get method, you can use the get array. If you're using the post method, you can use the post array. If you're using either method, you can use the request array. So that's available for you in PHP as well. And all we're going to do here is say your name is, and then echo the data that was sent to us, which is stored in the request array under the parameter name. And that, of course, matches the name of the text field like that. That's how data is sent to you under the parameter name of that matches the name of the control you are trying to extract text from. So there you are. You say echo, dollar sign underscore request, and you say the name of the parameter you're interested in, in this case that's just name, and the result as you see here is that you're able to recover the data that the user sent to you in the text field before clicking the submit button from the request array. You can also use the post and get arrays if you like. Both are available for you in PHP as well as the request array, and that's very simply how you recover data sent to you from a text field in a web page using PHP scripts.